is going on, Ben Nation? You see it right here. This is the tweet. There was a conversation to be held yesterday on the live stream, uh, Ben Armstrong's live stream. Uh, and now the statement, my daily crypto live stream has been my life. We had a good run three years, every Monday through Friday, without rare exception. Holidays, birthdays, market crashes, bull market tops, epic rants. I was there with you through it all. I'll miss you guys. Now, guys, um, I just want to say this. None of that, and the rock means none of that, says, hey, I'm leaving cryptocurrency. None of that says, hey, I'm leaving YouTube. None of that says anything more than uh, my daily crypto live stream has been my life. We had a good run. Um, I was there through it all. I'll miss you guys. And that caused a little bit of sell-off in, in Bencoin. And uh, that's me, if I'm listening to it, and if I'm, if I'm deciphering correctly, um, that sounds like somebody who's still going to be all over YouTube doing what can only be described as all over YouTube type stuff uh, and continuing on with uh, business as usual with a minor change to the way that they're doing it. And that's it. And that's caused a bunch of reactionary, you know, what I want to, I don't want to like calling it jeets, but I don't have any other name for it. Uh, paper hands, maybe, to make a move. Now, that move becomes an accumulation move for those of us who understand that this is just the start of something bigger. Um, I know it's frustrating, by the way, but let's look at the charts and let's decipher if we've hit that bottom, if that's, you know, if, if that's the move. And by the way, I say this prefacing with the fact that I already thought it was the bottom. I, I already thought it was the bottom. And here's the chart. Um, you can see here that we had kind of um, bounced off of this 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 upward facing uh, trend. And it was probably uh, to, to this point right here, uh, another move back to the upside here. This upside not being very significant, by the way, this is a small kind of channel. Uh, but moving over here, uh, you can see we now have about $200,000 in volume. There's a little interest peak now that interest has been in sell and people buying back and DCAing their way. So, you know, there's still that going on. Um, you know, we're not probably out of the woods. We've seen the reversal here and sell up here. Uh, this reversal right here, um, kind of zoom in and you can see that, you know, it, it, it looks like a tiny reversal. We got a little wicking down here at the bottom. Uh, we got a little buy, uh, little buy pressure, a little bullishness. We got these wicks going up. We get the hammers, a couple of different hammers pushing. So it, it feels like a bottom. It looks like maybe there's a little strong recovery uh, that might be in the cards for that. Uh, and, the, and the other, it would be the recognition that it doesn't take very much from here right now to fully recover in a short period of time from this position and recognize that it's just a couple of people uh, exiting a position and a couple more people will be coming in. And I say that because next week, uh, next week is an interesting time. Next week is a moment where I think, think that Ben, the coin, not Ben Armstrong, but also Ben Armstrong, is going to be exposed to a very large group of people that might potentially like what it is that Ben and Ben Coin are doing, and that has the pot potential to make this a very, very interesting time. Can I say that that is 100% going to happen? Well, no, because that's called a security. I have no idea uh, what, you know, how all of it breaks out, shakes out, call it what you will. But I do see that uh, there is a sign that an, an epic sort of reversal is coming. So I feel like we're going to see something tremendous start to happen. And I want to be there for it. So um, I'm going to be hodling. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I do my thing. And I, I don't like to see the price go down. I never like to see the price go down. I always want it to be up only. But I, I think it's okay. I, I mean, I, I really, really think it's okay. And if if you don't, then that's okay. Maybe you're just not going to make it. And that's okay. We're not all going to make it. 
right? Uh, we're not all going to, uh, there's a lot of people out here um, that talk a lot of smack and, you know, that's okay. But I would implore you, if you believe in Ben, Ben Coin, Ben Armstrong, if you, if you, that maybe there's a little more here than meets the eye and that just perhaps you might want to read between a few lines right here and try to figure out what's really happening and consider this. Is it possible that the weak are being shaken out actively so that only the strong survive? Is this a shakeout so that the faithful, the, the real Ben fans are able to buy in order to accumulate, in order to get the best possible position for the best possible result of the quote unquote best possible run. Do you think that's possible? Because I do. And uh, you know me, I'm always right. Uh, anyway, so uh, guys, just think about it. Just just think about, uh, go back and read the tweet. Go back and read and pay attention and look at the signs. And you let me know what you think. This is not financial advice. My name is Believes. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.